Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I'm saving this one. Battleships. How to battleships. This is my bread and butter. This is what I do. I am a battleship main, so I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about these right here. When the conversation comes up about battleships, you can pretty much break all the battleships down kind of based on the commander you pick. One of the best parts about this game is you can pick whatever you want and you can play around with it and see what works best for you. The three kind of builds, accuracy, secondaries, survivability. I'm sitting here racking my brain trying to think if there's anything else out there, but that's pretty much the three builds and almost all of the nations, uh, maybe not the Italians because we don't really have that much stuff for them, but pretty much all the other ones you can spec for those three specific things. Accuracy, survivability, secondary meme value. As a battleship player with over 14,000 battles, I can tell you that I still kind of experiment every once in a while. When I'm kind of unhappy with the way a certain ship is performing, I will throw another commander on there and I'll try it that way. One of the best examples I can show you of this is right here in front of me. It's the Bismarck. With Bismarck, I used to run a full secondary build just for the memes. That build had auto ciliacs on it, which now has a guise on there, so it's got colorful shells, and I use it on the Brandenburg, because the Brandenburg is still pure meme value. But with the Bismarck, I started experimenting with Hyde, so much so that I even upgraded my commander near max, because Hyde is so good on Bismarck. I have to say this real quick, there are a few ships in the game that receive something called increased AP penetration angles. Now there's only a handful of them in the game. Bismarck is one of them. Not Brandenburg, not Tirpitz, not Scharnhorst. If you're wondering, is it just because Bismarck has those AP pin angles? No, but you can couple it with Hyde here and one of his best perks is Aladad. And it says minimum ricochet angles for your battleship's AP shells and it's plus 8% or eight degrees, which isn't that much, but on top of Bismarck already having that, this makes it even better. Here's a perfect example of a hybrid kind of commander. So it's set up for secondaries, but also set up for survivability. All the American battleships have improved AP penetration angles. Since we were talking about the accuracy slash survival build, that's pretty much what this is. We're gonna take this out, we're gonna play it, and I'm gonna show you how to play the accuracy survivability style battleships. And what I mean by that is there's no will to rebuild, but we have five heals. If you want to see the commander, here it is. You can freeze frame. We got Sharnhorst and we got Cunningham as inspirations. You can freeze frame and, and see all these if you want, if you're interested in that. Oh, side note. Hyde, by the way, comes out in Halloween. So he came out again last Halloween. He originally came to the game, I think, two Halloweens ago. So we should probably see him in Halloween this year, I would think. As always, first thing we do, check and see what we're up against. So far, I'm feeling pretty okay. Good eyes now, Bismarck, Iowa, Pobeda. Gonna have to watch out for Pobeda. He's got pretty good torpedoes, halfway decent bombs. Fire doesn't really affect us that much. We can get lit on fire and it's not the end of the world. We can get lit on permafire and we're not gonna die. Now, I'm gonna show you how to play this survivability, no will to rebuild accuracy build Bismarck and how I would do it. I've been pretty successful with it. We'll see if I can do it again here. Okay, we're being lobbed. Didn't feel great. I was making a massive mistake. We're gonna shoot high because shells seem to always go low for me. Shoot high, see what happens. Not great, not terrible dispersion. Three pins. Again, not great, not terrible. What is lobbing me? A Tago and Ganiza now. Hmm, you guys really want the smoke? Angle end to incoming fire. He shot over. Return fire. That looks much better. You can usually tell when they come out of the barrels how that salvo is going to look. That's rather disappointing because he was actually turning left and raising the citadel. Some would say we shot high, but it's just a part of it. You shoot high these days because your shells always go low. He torqued for us. It's big brain time. The 
As you can see here, we're reading the map. We don't really have any threats at Alpha, at least none that's been spotted. What you do see is the entire enemy team limiting over to C, and then they are pushing straight at the few people we have on C, which is going to give us, hopefully, the availability for some nice crossfires. Don't know why it didn't full salvo there. One overpin. There's a little better click. We'd like to see citadels there, but... They seem to be kind of rare for me as of late. There we got scratched just a little bit, but we're totally fine. In the great war of give and get that this game is, so far we're doing okay. Okay, he's turning. There's a citadel. So when he's turning in like that, he's raising his citadel up to me. I might get clicked here, full reverse, try and make his shells go too far forward. Bismarck has some very good armor. Yeah, we got clicked a little bit there. He had a couple a couple penetrations. It's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll keep on pushing. We do have the Gajamata that's somewhere right out here. I have to keep that in mind. Definitely going to take this desk pop at the carrier, though. Two ricochets. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. So we've burned one out of our first handful of heals. Shooting that just a little above waterline. Don't want him to go short. Oh, there he is. There's a DD. Cool. So we're DD free over here. Nice. Ooh, there she blows. There she blows. That's what we've been owed pretty much this whole game. I'm gonna slow down here. Make sure I get this shot off in this Iowa. Same thing, gonna aim a little bit up. He's angled a little bit away, not much. He's turning though, he's in a hard turn. Apparently he didn't like being hit for 30,000. And he's oversaturated, or we penetrated the guns. We got three pins for 2,000 damage, so. Not quite sure where they went, have to look back on that on replay. It doesn't really matter, though. He's out of the fight. Sure, he's got heals, but we citadeled him down to that level of HP. And it's, you can't heal hardly any citadel damage. Not bad, so... You gotta check accuracy with these things. Find out how accurate they actually are. Three pins, two overpins, out of a total of... Uh, you know, eight guns. That's pretty good for a ship that for a long time was a complete meme to play. I really hope that guy's not throwing torps right through this gap. There's a good chance he is. Also, there's a good chance he's not. We'll see you. Eh, he didn't even get to click us again. Cool. So now we're popping our second heal, giving us three heals on standby after the cooldown. Looking good, doing good. We're gonna take this desk pop. I'm gonna stay on this here. If I can, I'm, I need to relieve the pressure on that DD, as you can see, the Z's running for his life. Otago's not that close to spotting him, but he's close enough that, and I have an angle that I should. Ooh, hello. Hello there, love. Tap the moan into you, governor. There's a high caliber off secondary hits. I love it. One thing you can tell, though, I told you I was running the fire perk. Um, look at our HP. Right over there. Oh, wow. Good torps, bud. Is he torping somebody else? It's gotta be. It's gotta be torping somebody else. Full health Bismarck versus our half health Bismarck. Who do you think will win this fight? Oh, mother of monkeys. Our carrier, dude, our carrier's doing his job. I like to see that. We're a little bit too close. We need to pull back, pull out, and, and get a little farther away from the action. Bismarck has no interest in coming over here and playing with us. That hurts my feelings. Oh man, you just love accuracy of that 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 kind right there. You just you just love to see it, you know, from a ship that just really was inaccurate for a long time. Let's loop in. 
Let's loop in. Let's loop back to Alpha. Hey, hats off to our carrier. He's doing his job. Good night, now. Please don't die to rushing that. Hmm. Please don't smack us, Bismarck. Now we need to get back around towards Bravo. We got 10k off that. We'll take that all day. And that'll trigger up uh, our second to last heal. Uh, it's just Bismarck in the cap. We got a Z up by Charlie. Let's do this. The Z Torps are Gneisen now. What a interesting line of events. We don't need to use a secondary booster yet. Let's, uh, oh, that guy, of course, would get spotted right now. If this guy goes to ram me, I'll be really sad. I better turn out. I don't want him to ram me. I need to be the guy to get this cap. I'll even risk giving up damage. I don't care. I mean, yeah, he's roasty. He's toasty. He's dead. May as well shoot at the Z. That guy's down. Pop the Z. There's the Confederate. Interesting. Hello there, young boy. And that is how the accuracy survivability build Bismarck is done, boys. Oh, yeah. Playing solo, high cal confederate. Right? High, the only high cal, the only confederate in the whole game. Bam. Blammo. There it is. 2734 with two sinks. 142,000 damage. We like it. We take it. That is how the Bismarck is supposed to be played. Guys, upon recording and editing all this, I found out that's gonna be way too long. I was looking at like a 20, 25 minute video. So this is only gonna be part one, okay? Part one of the hybrid build, the accuracy survivability combo kind of battleship. We'll come back and we'll do more for just survivability, just accuracy, just secondary, stuff like that. We'll compress those into their own individual videos. As a recap, for everyone that wants to get better at battleships, here's one thing I can tell you off the rip. Don't sit at the spawn, move up about two, three, four kilometers to start the game. That's kind of your sweet zone. Two, three, four kilometers, whatever, something like that. Move up a little bit. And what that does is whenever your enemy, it's across from you, pulls forward to turn to go to a different flank, because that's what people like to do. Spawn, I go save it. If you pulled up initially, then you'll have the potential for a nice opening salvo on somebody's broadside. Next thing I can tell you as a battleship main, your shells, whether they're AP or they're HE, hurt. Shoot destroyers. Shoot them. They take a lot of hit points off, even if it's just one AP shell, that's a thousand damage. Position yourself correctly and understand that you might come under attack from an Otago or an Ochakov or a Cleveland or something like that. And so have a plan to be able to disengage. That's very important. If you only have 40,000 hit points left, 30,000, 25,000, and you're still fighting the game avidly and it's not a complete wash or throw, have a plan if you come under spam to disengage. So don't be caught with your pants down in the middle of the open with no one around you for will to rebuild, you're gonna end up dying that way. You can't always have the plan to disengage. Sometimes you just can't, and that's just the way it is. But most of the time, you can forethink ahead far enough, and there are other options available to disengage. With all that being said, move up, shoot destroyers, understand your ship, play the map correctly, position correctly, understand your ship, understand the armor, shoot every destroyer inside of 12 kilometers because you will hit them thank you for watching this video comment down below let me know if you do these things if you're going to start implementing certainly come back after you try some of these if you're not already doing it let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you or if it's going to help you let me know i'd love to hear it until the next one i hope everyone's having a great memorial day weekend peace